Today I am Jamek Talder from Kanku Mirror Secondary School studying in grade 9. So today I'm gonna talk about article number 19, Interim Government. So here it goes. His Majesty had introduced the Interim Government saying that this kind of system was not found in any countries and its main purpose was to make the work easy and in order during the election time. Our fifth group, Gelbo, explained that this type of government Define the meaning of people's government for this reason. Article number 19 states that interim government shall rule for three months during the time of election pro process. There are two types of government. First, a caretaker government and second, an interim government. Although there are two types of temporary government, Bhutan had decided to have an interim government because the caretaker government had many negative aspects compared to the interim government. If you see, other countries, the ruling party misused the wealth of government and used the civil servants to work for their party's benefit, but, but in our case, the ruling and opposite party has to resign and compare, compete in the election during the election time. Then, then the people of the country has to choose a party which will not misuse wealth, power, and civil servants of the government and and also who is interested in people and country's improvement. His Majesty says that if the party chosen by the people had no contribution in the improvement of our country, there is no reason for a democracy to be introduced. These are the list showing the disaster it can cause if we keep following the caretaker government. Number one, it has no le legitimacy, no conformity to the law. Number two, misuse the power and money of the government for self-consumption. Number three, it can try to change the rules of election for their own goods. Number four, it cannot hold a free and fair election causing the destruction between the people and government. Because of this reason, interior government is considered for more better than caretaker government. 19 section 1 states that Interim government will be appointed by Druk Gyalpo by the Lenghi Shunso for a maximum period of 90 days to take over and keep the government functions going during the election period and fill the vacuum in the government. Section 2 states that the interim government will consist of head advisor and other advisor appointed by the Druk Gyalpo within 15 days after the dissolution of National Assembly. The head justice of Bhutan shall be appointed as the head advisor. Section 3 states that upon the appointment of interim government, the Prime Minister and the Minister who were in office immediately before the National Assembly was dissolved shall resign from office. Section 4 states that the interim government shall carry out the routine function of government but shall not be entitled to take any policy decision or enter into any agreement with foreign government or organization. Section 5 states that the government shall be formed within 90 days from the date of dissolution of the National Assembly. Section 6 states that the interim government shall cease to exist from the date on which the new Prime Minister enters office when the new National Assembly is constituted. Met this pretty thing, nice to meet you, mucho gusto, sweeter than a churro, she called me puppy.